Let me ask you something. In 2015, Nvidia stock was trading under $1. In 2024, over $60. So what does 2030 look like? $1,000? $3,000? Or has the run ended? This isn't about hype. This is about math, technology, power. Because Nvidia isn't just a stock anymore. It's the foundation of artificial intelligence. If you're still with me by the end of this video, you won't just know a number. You'll know why that number exists. And what you do next with that information could change your financial future forever. Fueling the AI revolution, and it's led by Jensen and NVIDIA. And I think even though others are trying to narrow the gap, that's the reality. And I think also speaks to Trump administration. Notice their big poker chip in all this negotiation. It's NVIDIA as well as Apple. There's so much coming in this video, but first, if you get value from our content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay one step ahead with real-time insights, NVIDIA price targets, and market-moving news. NVIDIA started out building toys for gamers, but today, every time ChatGPT gives you an answer, every time Tesla drives itself, every time AI makes you money or takes your job, NVIDIA chips are behind it, and Wall Street has taken notice. Big money isn't just investing in NVIDIA. They're betting the global economy will be rewritten by the chips it builds. That's why $100 was just the beginning. Now, the early AI race it was all about training models, building the brains. Now that is shifting to using them in the real world. And that's inference. It's where the next wave of demand is building, and it's what everyone is talking about out here in the Bay Area. It's every time that ChatGPT or Google's Gemini answers a question, or it's what happens when an agent reasons through a task. Behind every response is a stream of tokens. These are small chunks of text that the model reads, processes, and then generates. So the more complex the task, the more tokens it consumes. And it's only getting more compute heavy. New reasoning models, they think through answers step by step, rechecking their work, and that translates into more tokens per query running through NVIDIA's GPUs. Now we're just starting to see how big that demand is getting. Let's be blunt. This isn't a chip company anymore. It's a global superpower in disguise. The Pentagon is buying their chips. Saudi Arabia, India, even China are racing to copy their tech. Microsoft, Meta, and Amazon are spending billions. Not on real estate, not on people, but on NVIDIA. You want a price target for 2030? You can't guess it. You have to build the case. Let's run the math. NVIDIA's revenue in 2020, $10 billion. In 2024, over $80 billion. Projected by 2030, analysts say $300 billion is possible. Now apply a modest 20x price to earnings ratio, and you're staring at a market cap near $20 trillion. If that happens, each share of NVIDIA could be worth over $700, depending on buybacks and splits. But here's the truth. Some experts are even saying $1,000 per share isn't out of the question. The largest banks in the world are shifting to AI-driven strategies. Governments are rewriting policy to secure chips. And NVIDIA, they're selling picks and shovels in the new gold rush. You don't have to believe in AI. You just have to understand this. NVIDIA isn't optional anymore. It's part of the global operating system. But slow down. No road goes up forever. What if AMD catches up? What if China builds its own chips? What if government regulation kills AI before it grows? In 2030, will NVIDIA be worth trillions? Or will it be the next Cisco? the giant that never hit its full potential after the dot-com bubble. Risk is real, but so is opportunity. China is one of the world's largest AI markets and a springboard to global success. With half of the world's AI researchers based there, the platform that wins China is positioned to lead global. Today, however, the $50 billion China market is effectively closed to U.S. industry. China's AI moves on with or without U.S. chips.
NVIDIA sparking a chip rally after topping first quarter expectations with revenue soaring 69%. The company also warning of an $8 billion revenue hit in the second quarter due to China export rules. And then with regards to China, uh, so yes, as, as Jensen mentioned yesterday, there is a huge market there. And if uh, NVIDIA doesn't address it, if the, if the US uh, platforms don't address it, well, China is of course ramping. You know, we've heard about uh, Huawei's uh, Ascent chip, uh, who, who is reportedly uh, becoming competitive you know, excluding these ecosystem uh, barriers, who is becoming, you know, competitive on, on paper progressively. I mean, it's, there's still a gap, but they're trying to catch up, you know. Um, and and uh, and if you don't, you know, uh, maintain Nvidia's leadership thanks to its ecosystem, uh, and you allow, you know, that new ecosystem to emerge, well, yes, that's a lost opportunity for the U.S. So that's, you know, Jensen's message yesterday as well. BlackRock just increased their Nvidia holdings. Morgan Stanley just raised their 2030 target to $300, and insiders, they're not selling, they're loading up. Dan Ives says NVIDIA is the engine behind the AI revolution. Tom Lee calls it the safest way to bet on exponential tech. So you want a price target? Smart Money is aiming between $600 and $8,000 by 2030. Anything that gets a little positive in terms of moves on trade and tariffs between U.S. and China is ultimately that that to me right now, the biggest risk is just China. And, and I think Jensen called it out, shot across the bow, Trump administration. You're essentially giving away the China business because of the H20 to Huawei. And that's the biggest risk. But Tom, it just comes down to like, it is Jensen and NVIDIA's world. Everyone else is paying rent when it comes to AI. So what was the biggest takeaway from the earnings last night? It stocks up uh, five, six percent this morning. What's the street taking away from it last It was night? a staggering quarter in a bullish way relative to the demand. I believe right now demands out supply supply eight to one. You got sovereigns. Demands out supplying uh, supply eight to one. Eight to oh, one. Wow. So what, where does this company go? What does NVIDIA do now to kind of take advantage of that demand out there? It's when you think about autonomous, robotics, physical AI, eventually keen with a robot, you know, in, in, in his in his palace. You've been talking to Mike? <laughs> hey, look, this is, the only way it's fueled is by NVIDIA. So to me now, the, the, the AI revolution coming to Middle East, sovereigns, they want to okay, be on the line. It's on a unit basis. They're selling. 2030 is closer than you think. The world is changing faster than ever. Now you've seen the numbers, you've seen the story, you know the truth. So the only question left is, what is your NVIDIA price target for 2030?